Hey guys, what is up? This is supposed to be just a quick video recording and I've had to record it now four times because of stupid things getting in the way. But you might be wondering, what is this tutorial about? So there's a bug that currently exists in Windows 11. Uh, it happens on non-modified versions and modified versions. It happens on my Razer laptop at work. It happens on my Lenovo uh, laptop that's next to me right now and it's happening on my main desktop. So you'll see I have this process highlighted in Task Manager, CTF-MON. This basically allows you to type in text boxes and stuff like that in the Settings app, in your Start menu, and in some other places in Windows 11. But sometimes Windows 11 decides that process isn't allowed to run anymore. So what ends up happening is you can no longer type in these text boxes, you can't type in the settings search bar, you can't type in a lot of places in Windows 11 the search functionality of it. So what you have to do is you need to tell Windows 11 to run that um, executable. It's very easy to do and all you have to do is actually just create a startup entry for it. So you hold the Windows key, go to R, type shell colon startup all capitals and it opens up your startup folder. Now you need to make a shortcut to the CTF MON. So you want to get a, a new folder or a new window, which uh, if you're on non-modified versions of Windows 11, I brought back the old right click menu because I use it a lot. Um, if you don't have open in new window, you can click show more options and then you'll get open in new window. But what you want to do is go to your local C disk, Go to your Windows folder, go to System32, go CTFMON right here, and you want to right click it. Again, if you don't have this option right away, you click Show More Options and you go Create Desktop Shortcut. Now, in your startup folder, you drag that shortcut. And from here, if you log out, restart your computer, turn it off, turn it back on, it's always in your startup. It's always going to start this process immediately once you log into your computer to your desktop. But like I said in the beginning of this, sometimes Windows 11 decides that this process is just not allowed to run. So what you have to end up doing is actually just running it manually. And there's two ways to go about that. You can make a second shortcut and just leave it on your desktop as well as having one here or you can simply run it from CMD if you absolutely need to which I thought CMD was in there for me it's not CMD you can also get to just by going to this folder so as you can see I scroll up a lot oh my gosh a lot CMD you want to right click it make sure it's running as admin go CTF MON the process is running now, which means I am able to type in my settings app as well as my search and many other places, or you can just run it off of the shortcut that you made, but make sure you run it as administrator. That way it has full usage rights and you can type into everything on your computer. Now, since there's so many people having this issue, Reddit is full of these bugs. Uh, other places on Google, there's search results for it all over the place very simple fix for a very small problem on Windows 11. This should not deter you from using Windows 11. Windows 11 has been a fantastic experience. I'm really happy with how it runs personally. I think it runs better than Windows 10 on my hardware. So don't let little things like this deter you or let people talk you out of it. The same fears that people complain about with Windows 11 now they were complaining about with Windows 7 when it first came out and Windows 10. So with that, that's all I wanted to make a tutorial about. So if you made it, wow, this has got to be my shortest video ever. If you made it this far, tell me what we had for lunch today. I like to ask random questions at the end of my videos. Hi guys, I'm Dave. If you've never seen my channel before, this is not normally my kind of content, but I might start making more content like this. That's just short form, simple tutorials. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.